Hello, it's Angry Admin here, and what I want to talk about today is Microsoft ADFS for vCenter. So, Microsoft ADFS is multi factor authentication, which can be rolled out in the vCenter instead of traditional single sign on. Obviously, as usual, there's a few things to consider uh, before we roll out uh, ADFS. Or like a pros and cons. Uh, for pros, multi-factor authentication increase the level of information security. As the identity of the admin or admins is verified beyond user name and password. Uh, which we know it's not secure enough in nowadays. For uh, cons is, we can count that if we depend on ADFS as a single sign-on to vCenter, when the multi-factor fails, no one will be able to sign in. So when connection between ADFS and the Active Directory breaks or when the ADFS is not reachable or if it's simply down or for some any other reasons you can't communicate it with then you would have to go back to the local admin account and this is the downside of it okay um let's log into vCenter now and let's have a look how everything looks like So this is the simply single side on, um, and this is our vCenter. Now, to set up a ADFS, we just simply go to the administration page, and then you can see a single sign on, user and group and configuration, and then we have an identity provider. So, let's have a look. If we have, yeah, we have a two links over here, which you will not see those links, but the one is slash UI login and slash login out to out code. So those two links has to be present. Okay. And then if we go to change provider, we can choose Microsoft ADFS. And then we have to put providers here. So before we start setting up this on vCenter, obviously we have to have ADFS set up already in our environment. So let me put some credentials. You won't see that, obviously. Okay, once the all information are filled in, you can click next. As you can see on the next page, we have a few more details to set up. I uh, will put uh, some details which you won't obviously see. And then once we fill them out, then you have the one specific thing, so SSL certificate. Just remember that ADFS server certificate should be signed by a trust certificate authority. Okay, so you have to have that set ready, and then you have to add the certificate to uh, in in this step. And once you add everything here. You just click next and then there'll be a review page and you can finish. So the additional step would be out user here for ADFS and domain will be ADFS domain. So you get a one more domain uh, as a visfer.local, as a SS, SSO domain and you have your ADFS domain. And then once we do that, we are ready to go. Once everything is set up, and you log out from the vCenter and you, and you go back to log into your vCenter, you will see the different sign-in option. As you can see, there is no option for a password now. So if you type in username here, then we will got this sign-in page. And this is the ADFS sign-in uh, welcome screen. So now you just put your username and the password and sign-in and you will get into the vCenter that way. 
And that will be it for today. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Uh, if you like that content, click like and welcome you to read my blog on angrysysops.com. And see you in the next video. Thanks.